In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to give you tips in two key areas, especially if you're using the new version of PowerDirector or are interested in it. The first is the splash screen, the opening screen. How do you navigate your way around it? How do you make the best use of what you see there in your editing? The second is I'd like to show you a little bit about using favorites. There are so many resources involved, for example, in the title room or the transitions room, and they're each in subcategories. How do you find the ones you like and mark them and then use them so that the ones you use most often are the ones that you can edit with quickly? This uses a tool called Favorites, which is available in past versions of PowerDirector as well as the current one. I want to show you some tips about that in this tutorial as well. So let's get started with the new screen. Now the new screen basically has a core right down the middle and across the middle and this is the one I will use the most. If I want a new project I click here it will load PowerDirector and then give me the opportunity to begin designing a brand new project. It will also give me one of six recent projects all I need to do is click on one of these and it will take me to that project and load it. Now if I don't want either of those, I can open a project by clicking here. It will take me to my file system and I can load one of them. That's the ones I'll use the most. What's going on above and below this? Well if you notice you have a preview in the upper right corner and the title of that kind of tool. Now each of those tools in the preview, there are five buttons and five tools, are reflected in these blue buttons here. If you click on any of the four on the left, I click here for example, it will give me two options. I can either drag my own video or click here and it will take me to my file system and load my own video and then it will take me into that tool or I can use a sample clip. I can do that with body effects, stabilizer, denoise, and wind removal. If you click on the AI generator, it will open PowerDirector and take you directly to that tool. You won't be able to load your own sample because it's built around a different kind of engine. A different. It just allows you to take things that you define and then work with them for the AI tool. So basically, it gives you an option to get started right in one of those five things. Then the, the one below it allows you to trim a video. If you click on there, there's no sample, but you can drag your own or click to get in the file system and load your own to trim. Same way to crop and rotate. Now I would hope someday what they would do is allow you to customize this. So you might want to take other tools and put those below. I don't know why they stopped at these five in the middle and then the two below. Why didn't they add maybe three more? Maybe that's coming. I'm not sure. That's there if you want to try your hand at any of those particular tools. The area that I focus on as a somewhat experienced editor is going to be that middle column where I focus on a new project, a recent project, or simply open. That's what the screen's all about. So let's go to a recent project I've done and load it. And when you do, you'll see the familiar screen. And then I'm going to look a little bit at how to manage all the resources that are available for owners of PowerDirector. One of my complaints was with the new version, you can't click on any of these rooms. Let's go to the title room, for example. I can't click on the title room and simply find every title. They're all in categories and I need to know which category to find the tool in. But there's a better way around that called favorites. Let's assume that I want to use this one quite a bit. All I need to do is hover over it. In the lower right corner, there's going to be a heart. I click on that heart. It will add it to my favorites. Let's take the flip here and do the same with that. I'll click on that. It will add it to my favorites. Let's say I want to go to another subcategory called subtitles. And I want to use, say, this one here. I'll click on it. It's added to my favorites as well. So how do you find the ones that you've isolated that are the tools in your title room that you're going to use the most? All you need to do is be in the title room, click on the My Content at the top, and go to My Favorites. And here are all the ones that I've highlighted. And you can uncheck the box to remove it from the favorites as well. It will take it out. It will not remove the tool. But what, what it will do is it will take it from the favorite. So I can go to any area in my titles submenu system and find the one I want to use. And then all I have to do is click on it 
and it will take it back to the favorites to find it. Again, I go to my content, my favorites. If I go to the transitions room, the same thing applies wonderfully. So I find a transition I like. Let's see, we'll go to a speed blur. I like side 06. And I've just added that to my favorites. Again, in a transitions room, I go to my content, click on my favorites. And here I have my speed blur along with the other ones. So I found that this is kind of a thing I should have done a long time ago to mark the ones that I use over and over and over again to speed up my editing and work on the favorites and not worry about what's in the menus. But the advantage is if, if they add another subcategory or add to any of these down the line, if you are a subscriber, all you have to do is survey it and say, hmm, I'd like this one. So you simply click on it, make it a favorite, and you're done and it can be one of your primary tools in any of these rooms. So that solves one big issue for me. The other thing I just like to say when we get into the program is I do like the way they've color coded things. We find we have this brownish orange here for video. We have a purple for audio. We have a color for titles. We have another color for effects. Kind of like the look of that. It helps me see without even thinking what is on my tracks when I'm working in a project. I promised a bonus tip, and this is to the credit of one of my subscribers. Here's what I found out about how you can look at many elements in your rooms for the title room, transition room, effects room, and overlay room without moving between the categories. Well, actually, you kind of do. Let's take the titles, for example, and let's say I want to start out. I need to be clicking on one of them. So let's take the thank you here. Now, if I move the scroll wheel and the mouse, right now we're in the YouTube subcategory. Watch, I'll go down, we'll go through those, and now it's switched to the call-up category. And I keep moving, it'll go to the time category on the left and the love category. Likewise, I can go up. So when you're in one subcategory, you don't have to click over here to the subcategories on the left. You can use the mouse to move up and down through all the categories in these particular areas. So you can see everything at once, as it were, in the Titles room, Transitions room, Effects room, and Overlays room without moving to the subcategories on the left. That's our bonus tip. So those are a couple tips, some for old users and some for new or potentially new users. We'll have more to come in the weeks to come as we dig deeper into the latest version of PowerDirector and in editing in general.